What's going on? I'm Sam. It's like day two of self-quarantine and we're on the way to get tested. Okay guys, we're leaving. Don't destroy the house while we're gone. Yeah, you're totally gonna destroy it. Okay, what'd you guys do? Did you destroy the house? Oh no, it looks pretty good. I think you guys were good boys. Were you guys good boys? Yeah. Well, I'm obviously at the shop now and I'm feeling pretty good. I had had a sore throat for a couple days and when I woke up today, I was super stuffy. And pretty quickly afterward, I got some really bad chills and these lasted for a few hours. I had had a flu really, really bad in January that knocked me off my feet for like four days. And I was super scared that this was gonna be just like that. After a few hours though, I was getting too hot where I was hot and itchy. So I took a shower and I got ready for this appointment. I was already feeling a lot better. My sore throat had gone, the stuffiness was gone, and I was feeling like I had a normal temperature. So we went to the urgent care to get tested and I was not ready for what they did. I'd expected a drive-in car test where they'd give me a swab and I'd swab my own nose, but it was one where I had to go in and they put the nose swab like way up there. I did not like that feeling at all. That was horrible. And now it's going to take two or three days for test results to come back. And in the meantime, I'm going to be in self-isolation until I get confirmation whether I can go out or if I have to stay in self-quarantine for longer. So I figured I'd make the best of it, and today I'm going to try a couple woodworking techniques. Mainly, I want to try dovetails because I feel like I've never done a dovetail before. I might have done something with a router, but I don't really remember. So I'm just gonna try making a simple box with some simple dovetails and see if I'm gonna be able to do it or not. I had some scrap wood I was gonna use, but there's holes in almost every piece. So I guess I'll use this board that I bought and never used. It's not quite as wide, but that's fine for what I'm doing. So I had been watching a few videos on how to do this. Uh, after I got these cut out, I realized I'm not exactly sure I still know, but I'm not going to watch any more videos from this point on, and I'm just going to be figuring it out for myself. I think I have a pretty good understanding of how they work, but I'll find out rather soon, so I'm going to start marking these. And I don't have a marking gauge. That's something I want to buy here pretty soon. I think I can use the wood itself to do most of the measurements. So I should be able to line these up. Actually, I almost want to just score these. Do I have a way to score these? I guess I don't want my pencil lines to show, so I'm going to undo everything I just did. Okay, so now we're just going to score everything. After tracing all these lines onto the wood, I have a feeling that my pencil lines are very inaccurate and it's making me want a marking gauge more than ever. So that's probably going to be my next woodworking project. I've always liked woodworking, but I've never really considered myself a woodworker. Mostly what I do, I'd considered like general carpentry, which is framing, making basic tables and walls and benches, stuff like that, but never really anything super intricate. So this will pretty much be a first for me, and I want to make a few more videos with some basic woodworking techniques that I'm trying or building basic woodworking tools. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you might want to see. So now I'll get my protractor and mark out the angles for the dovetails. This way? This way? Oh, it's definitely this way. Oh my gosh, that was so much more marking than I thought. Each mark has to be drawn 
four times on two faces, so eight times per board on four boards. That's making the same mark 32 different times. Oh, and there's one more line that I should probably trace. I'm pretty sure I've marked every line I need to. So I'm gonna go get a vise so that I can cut these out a little easier. And now I get to use my pull saw again. I've only used it once, but I do really like this thing already and I can't wait to use it again. This vise will hold the wood super still while I'm making cuts. Eventually I do want to get a wood vise which will be a little bit bigger and a little bit softer for wood pieces. But that would be in a video further down the road probably after I build a woodworking table. I don't know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> My first dovetail. It's ugly, but it looks like it will work. I'm now done with both sets of dovetails. I kept these a little wide because I'm not sure how my fitment's gonna be. I feel like I've gotten a lot better with this pull saw. Before today, I had just used it the one time to cut the dowel. Today, I've used it nonstop and even though it cuts really quickly, I kinda wanna have my bandsaw here and I'll bring that soon because this is a lot of cuts. But it was pretty cool making it by hand. Honestly, this thing cuts so well that for the amount of cuts I made, it went by really quick and it wasn't that much work. I'm at the point now though, I need to get the pins ready. So the slits are cut, I need to use the chisel to knock out this middle part. No, that was not supposed to happen. Oh no! Ah, oh, I wasted so much time not even thinking about what I was doing. Well, I need to cut out two more pieces, <laughs> remark and recut everything so that they receive the dovetails. Ah. Uh. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I was trying to do this on the fly. I was supposed to kind of make sure things fit before cutting it because obviously this has no way of fitting at all. This would be like a really bad joint just looking at it. Like it would slip out of anything it was meant to go into. But I got two new pieces cut out. I will make the proper marks now and cut them out again. I'm just glad I realized that before I chiseled out all four of these. So now I have the cuts that I need to cut. <laughs> I totally get that I'm working with some soft wood, but this is ridiculous. I feel like my chisel isn't as sharp as it should be, because it seems to be smushing the wood more than cutting it. I have some better ones, I just don't have them here, so that needs to change if I'm ever doing anything like this again. But I am done with this so I can see how the dovetail fits together. So match up A to A. Okay, that's not that hateful. 
I also don't have a wooden mallet, and that's probably going to be one of my next builds. Yeah, I am not a woodworker. <laughs> There's some gappage, some more gappage. This isn't too bad. Some more gappage, and that's not, like, too bad, I guess. I'm going to see if I can clean this up to get a more flush fit, if nothing else. But it is tight, which is pretty nice even if there's gaps. Gaps can be filled. Okay, I'm done with the second one. And instead of using a chisel to go down, I cheated and used a razor blade, which actually made the cut come out a lot better. But it's too tight, which is a good thing. So I have a little bit of trimming to make them fit. I think there's still gonna be a couple gaps, but it should be a little better than this first one I did. Yeah, this actually probably came out worse. <laughs> so I cheated just a little to make this easier to knock out. Well, that didn't work out right. Oh, <gasps> What did I do? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I didn't cut these yet, so I just split that a little. I'll cut it and I can glue that back together. This one is super tight as well and just needs a little bit of trimming. I'll save it for the end though. Oh my gosh, this last one is so bad. Like they're really tight. But my gaps are just awful. If I were to guess, it's because I'm not cutting perfectly parallel more than anything. I'm getting a little bit of angle in my cuts. But for my first time with a woodworking project and doing dovetails, it might not look super pretty, but I do know a whole lot more than when I started this thing. There's so many gaps. Well, there's some really bad twist in it, which could be from warped wood, but more believably, I think it's because some of my cuts were not quite straight. A little bit. Well, that is finally done. I'm not gonna lie, I expected this to come out a whole lot better because everyone on YouTube makes it look super easy. I obviously realized it would take a lot of time and patience, which I did put in a few hours to building this thing, but my raw skills just aren't quite there yet. But I will wait for this thing to dry so I can take it out and sand it before making final judgments about my work. Well, it's done and sanded. It's not too bad, but there are some really bad gaps in here. These were the first two that I did, and they turned out okay. There's some pretty big gaps. The third one I did was a little bit better. There's still some gaps, but it ended up being a lot tighter. And then the last one I did, I think I did a pretty good job. So I still have a lot of practice left. For now, I'm going to leave this box unfinished. In another video, I'll probably put a top and a bottom on it using some other various techniques. I'm not sure what they'll be yet. Maybe I'll do like some biscuits to join some wood together and 
I don't know. I, I got to figure it out. But this was pretty good practice, and I'll get more practice with the top and bottom. I could even do, like, a multiple dovetail bottom on this where I have, like, three dovetails on each face. But that's a lot of dovetails, even though they'd be shallower because I'd use, like, quarter-inch wood. I'm not sure I'm up for that. It is really sturdy, though. This is pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. I learned a lot from this. I want to do some more woodworking projects in the future. I even have some metal projects planned that will be using the CNC plasma table. But I'm going to get home and get some sleep. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Okay Griffin, I'm done with my box so we can go home now. Do you want the box? Are you ready?